Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my class. This is Sara Wasif from Moonlight International Publishers. I hope my all students are fine. Grade five students kindly open your English textbook developed by Moonlight Publishers. Kindly open chapter number thirteen, the last chapter of this book. A visit to the park. You tell me, do you like to visit parks? Do you enjoy there? Yes, I hope everyone. Love to visit park because you can have walk there, you can have fresh air there, you can enjoy greenery and the nature as well. Now please just look at this picture and look what they all are doing. According to you, are they doing good or bad? In the first picture, the two boys are playing; they are very happy. In the second picture, you can see that a boy is sharing the things. That is also a very good thing. And in the last picture, the students are having fun during the class. Is it good? No, it's not good because during the class you should be very attentive and listen to your teacher very carefully. Now let's start our reading session. Everyone, just open your book and don't forget that while reading you must be having your pencils with you so that you would be writing the meanings of the difficult words because we are going to read as well as think critically. Let's start our reading session. Mr. Kazim, an English teacher of a modern school, promised to take his pupils to park some day. Pupils means students. The pupils kept reminding him of the promise. Reminding me means caused to remember someone about something. In order to fulfill the promise, he took them to the park one Saturday. Before leaving for the park, he advised the students to do at least one good deed that day. What is meant by a good deed? Bilal asked. Mr. Kazim said, "An action which gives happiness and satisfaction is called a good deed. Satisfaction means fulfillment of one's wish and need." I hope you will not misbehave on the way. Misbehave means behave badly. All the pupils promised that they would try their best to behave properly and would act upon the advice of their teacher. Act upon means follow. They had to go to the park by bus. When they boarded the bus, boarded means get into the. It was overcrowded. Overcrowded means overfilled. All the seats were full, and some passengers had to stand. The bus stopped at a stop, and an old woman boarded it. As there was no seat, she had to stand. When Amna saw this, she stood up from her seat and said to the old woman, "Aunt, please have this seat." The old woman seemed grateful to her. Grateful means thankful, and took the seat, saying, "May God grant you success and happiness in life." In the park, the pupils enjoyed themselves. They enjoyed the swings, seesaws, rides, and played hide and seek. Suddenly, Zubair saw a boy who was eating fruit and throwing the. Rinds and seeds in the ground. Rinds means peel or covering. Zubair rushed forward to the spot. Rushed means run to that point. Collected the rinds and seeds from the ground and put them into the dustbin. He said to the boy, "Let us not litter and let us put the dustbin to use." Litter means rubbish. The boy promised to bring in a change in his habit pattern. Ali was playing with his friends. He saw a purse on the ground. It was full of money. Ali picked it up and took it to Mr. Kazim. He said, "Sir, what do we do with the purse?" Meanwhile, a man came there. Meanwhile means at the moment, and said that he had lost his purse. It contained thirty thousand rupees. Mr. Kazim told the man that Ali had found his purse on the ground. He returned the purse to the man. He thanked Ali for his responsible behavior. 
Soon it was time to return. Mr. Kazim called all of them. He was very happy because the students had behaved exemplarily well. Exemplarily means serving as a model. They had reflected their good manners. Reflected means throw back or show. He praised the pupils and their good deeds. And all of them returned to their homes in a happy mood. And yes, students, I hope that this story is very informative for all of you. As you have seen, the students are very obedient. They have acted upon the advice of the teacher. And they have tried to show the act of kindness. You can see, in the first act, the girl was sitting. And when the old lady came into the bus and has no seat to sit down, the girl stands up and gives his seat to that old lady. So yes, students, we should be very helpful towards our community. In the second, you can see that a boy was making that place dirty by throwing the peas and the seeds. And then a boy goes over there and makes him understand that we should keep our environment clean. And the last section of this story tells us that we should help the other people. Like if anyone lost his thing, we should return it. And it's very good that if we find this, these kind of things on the floor or in the ground, we should inform our elders because they know better how to deal with this situation. Now it's time to think more critically as we are going to write the answers of the questions which are asked in our book. Let's start finding the answers. Where did the pupils go on Saturday morning? Yes, the answer is the pupils went to a park on Saturday morning. Number two, why did Mr. Kazim advise the pupils? And the answer is Mr. Kazim advised the pupils to do at least one good deed that day. Question number three, why did some people have to stand in the bus? And the answer is some people had to stand in the bus because the bus was overcrowded. Question number four, why did Zubair pick up the rhymes and seeds from the ground? The answer is, Zubair picked up the rhymes and seeds to keep the ground neat and clean. Number five, what promise did pupils make with their teacher? Answer, all the pupils promised that they would try their best to behave properly and would act upon the advice of their teacher. I hope students that each and everything related to this topic is clear to you. Now it's time to move towards one activity which is given in our book. Do you know about the pie charts? A pie chart is a type of graph that displays a data in sector of a circular diagram. This is a pie chart and you can see that there are different flavors displayed. They are telling how many students like strawberry ice cream, how many students like chocolate ice cream. Now by focusing on this pie chart, we are going to give answers of the questions. Which ice cream is the most popular among the students? Focus on the pie chart and give the answer. And yes, it is vanilla. As you can see, 16 students like to eat vanilla ice cream. How many students participated in the survey? So just count all and tell how many students are. Yes, 16 plus 11 plus 9 plus 8 plus 6. So, all together they are 50 students. Which is the least favorite ice cream? Just focus on the pie chart and give the answer. It is 6. Strawberry. How many students like chocolate ice cream? 9 students. How many students like either the chocolate flavor or blueberry one? And yes, the answer is... 9 students like chocolate ice cream and 8 students like blueberry ice cream. I hope so that you have enjoyed this activity. Now, it's time to move towards our next activity about the calendar. We have already discussed about the calendars, how to read it. In a calendar, we all know 12 months are indicated like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. After that, 
in each month there have been indicated dates weeks and days now by focusing on this one calendar we are going to give answers of some questions let's start how many months with 30 days are there on the calendar now be focused look carefully observe how many months are having 30 days and yes the answer is 4 months and the months are april june september and november next question what day is it on the first day of june focus on the month of june and the answer is wednesday i hope students you have also enjoyed this one activity now just again recall the text because we are going to fill the blanks by recalling the text an action which gives dash and dash is called a good deed and yes the answer is happiness and satisfaction ali brought the pearls to dash and yes the answer is mr kazim let us use the dash does mean mr kazim dashed the pupils and their good deeds praised very good the bus stopped at the stop and an old woman dash it and the answer is boarded it and yes students our video is ended here but before ending this video just recall what we have learned today and yes we have learned many good deeds at the end we have also learned how to study a pie chart and how to study a calendar now it's time to say allah hafiz to all of you i will meet you in my next video as rest of the competencies are still left so i will meet you in my next video allah hafiz take care